Hey my friends, today we are here with another puzzle solving session. This isn't a struggle actually because I solved them. Then I noticed that I didn't record with the mic on. So I tried to replicate the uh, process of thinking that I had before and explain to you how did I solve them. Original video was nine minutes. Let's see if we do it faster or slower. This puzzle is interesting. First thing comes to mind is that we can give a check and kick the king to the only square G3. But then what to do after that? If we try to give a check with the bishop, then king can run away to F2. So we should block the G3 and then give a check here. But if we move the bishop right now, then it's very slow, gives the check with the rook and yeah win lots of material wins over rook and many things so what else can we do another move i see another check i see we should find a check right because our rook is gunner the bishop attacking over rook we should find check next check i see except the bishop check is the pawn check with the pawn check interesting thing is also that white king has to go to g3 and more interestingly is that if we continue to check further, white king has to come back. And this time, this direction is blocked. G3 is blocked, right? And we can apply our original plan of giving check with the bishop and deliver mate. Yes, and difficulty of this puzzle was 3100 and we are happy that we solved it. Another puzzle is this one. This was very nice one. I give you a few moments to think. We have a somehow back rank like mate, but it's not a back rank mate. We can give a check from here and then uh, bring the knight there. And it seems that we can deliver mate by something like queen there, but it doesn't work that way. Why? Because white's queen is on c2. This queen is eyeing on all the movements that we make on c2. So the knight goes whatever, queen also can attack. Also, consider one more point that if we give a check here, white queen can simply grab the knight. You may think that, okay, if grabs the knight, we simply grab the queen, but that doesn't work. Why? You're right, because white's rook can capture our rook on e8 and we lose the rook. So basically, it says us that this check is pointless. What else do you see in this board? If it wasn't this knight there, we could simply grab the rook and say check and after bishop goes back, we deliver mid, right? How to get rid of this knight? Yes, with a check. We have seen that this check doesn't work. What about this check? Captures the knight, right? And we capture the rook with check. King goes up, then queen comes in and delivers mate, right? Okay, it uh, stops here, but let me show you what was going to happen is that after we capture, uh, the, the bringing the bishop there doesn't help much. It's just uh, postponing the mate. We deliver mate here because our bishop beautifully covers the h3 square. So this puzzle also solved and we also solved it relatively quick, but when I was explaining in the video, it took time. And this puzzle was surprised for me why it is 3000 rated. What do you see in this puzzle? Our queen is under attack, but the bishop on g5 is loose, right? The only defender is knight. If we remove the defender or if we block the defender somehow, we win the bishop on g5. Of course, first thing comes in mind is knight taking this, but this is not good. Why? Because takes back with the pawn and attacks to our bishop. What else can we do? We still can give a check, right? Uh, bishop takes is not good. Why? Because simply grabs over queen. It's not forcing. It's not with check. So another move is to take with the knight, uh, take the bishop with the knight and and give a check this is forcing and once we do this black and white has no choice but to take it now 
our queen is under attack, but their queen is also under attack. So we can also simply capture the bishop, right? And win the queen. You may say that why at this point uh, we didn't capture the knight, right? We didn't capture the knight. Yeah, we could capture the knight, but then the problem was that this bishop is attacking our rook as well. So at the end of the day, we didn't achieve much of success. Next puzzle is amazing. I was able to solve it, but did move quickly and didn't work out. So this is a complex puzzle. Not complex. This is a clever puzzle, let's say. It's a clever puzzle. First of all, observe that our queen is blocking all the interns of white queen. So white queen cannot go to the back rank and give a check. White queen has one check, for example, at um, A1, another check at B2. And look at white's king. Now look at white's king. White's king is very... Uh, located in a very bad position it's in a corner cannot even move right imagine wasn't the pawn on f2 then here was basically almost mate right if queen was able to go to f1 it was mate but queen cannot go there immediately on the other hand on the other hand if we slowly go there, it doesn't harm, right? We can try to slowly go there because white's queen it cannot be activated easily. So how to reach f1 while trapping the king in the corner is still to be in the corner and at the same time uh, not allowing white's queen to be activated. Yes, we should keep eye on this diagonal. We should go to the back rank, right? And we trapped. Can you find the final shot? Yes, of course we can give it check, but queen comes in. And then, yes, this is a trick that you all know. So why this puzzle was 3,300? Tell me why. But it was nice, I would say it was nice. So let's go to the next puzzle. This puzzle was also very interesting to me, very nice. You can see that we are attacking the queen of white. Wasn't the check we could grab the queen and win the game. Another thing we see is that this queen is attacking this direction. So the white, uh, white squared bishop is very weak because it is attacked by two pieces. So even if white has time to move the queen, we could somehow attack this piece. Another thing we observe is that we are under check, right? We are under check and we should do something with this check. We should either move the king or blockade with the knight. Knight can block from two different squares. Moving the king doesn't sound good. Tell me why. Yes, moving the king gives white time to navigate the pieces and find the opportunity to defend its queen but if we block it with the knight what do we do right now we are threatening to capture the queen right queen should move queen has only one place b1 because if it goes to c3 we capture this with check and win the queen if it goes to b2 we capture the bishop and say check and win the queen so the only place white's queen has is to go to b1 also, notice that white doesn't have time to capture our knight with the bishop, right? To say check because it will capture back with the rook. Let me put it here. We capture back with the rook if it was capturing with the bishop. So, and still we were attacking queen and bishop. Now, what to do? Here is the beautiful part, a beautiful part of the game. Can you find the final beautiful shot? This is very nice. Tricky one, but nice one. Look at the king of white. It is very limited, cannot move much. How can we take advantage of that? Of course, if we push the pawn somewhere like this, sounds like it is working, right? 
but it isn't because captures the knight with check once we capture then escapes with the bishop so our plan is to somehow win this bishop how to win that bishop of course we cannot win right the way because yeah takes with back with the queen so how to win it the plan is that imagine wasn't the bishop on d4 then this is basically made right this check is made because c2 is defended by the other knight b3 is blocked b2 is blocked by this knight and king is under check so white had to give up the queen to get rid of this check so how to enable this knight to move you're right take the queen and deliver this check i hope you enjoyed we are back to 3300 and hopefully one day soon we will break our own record and reach the highest we can 3400 is our goal for now let's see whether we can reach that i hope you have a good day see you next time